Okay, this weekend we're doing a mod for the antennas on the Up Air 1. Um, 2016, this is the version 3 by G10. What I've just got is a directional antenna for the FPV and your standard rubber ducky for the actual quad itself. Um, I'll be running through cloverleaf antennas to do a test. Um, now these are the standard ones, so when you pull them off, don't forget to write on them. 5.8 and your 2.4. If you ever want to go back, um, it's a bit of a bugger to remember what one was what. Don't cut your leads either, in case you want to put it all back together. Okay. So, four screws at the back, take your battery out, split it off. You only have one connection here, which is that one there. Pull out your camera controller and also the video and photo button just pop them straight out drop that down there that's all you're left with okay so you pop these clips off here it's good to label everything to 5.8 FPV and your TX for your actual quad is on the motherboard there 2.4 like a Wi-Fi okay so we're going to have this as a 5.8 and that's a 2.4. If you ever forget, your TX or your transmitting are always like a copper cable. You can see it better on this one. Copper. Verse. Like your stainless steel sheathed. Transmitting. Receiving. That's how you can tell the difference. Plus it's written on top. But if you get one of these... Copper, transmit, stainless steel, receiving. Okay. All we have to do, I've got the clips here. Pull the old one off, clip it on, tape it down. I'm going to fill this with a bit of hot glue. And um, set it in there. I'll get my Dremel out and just take off a little bit in there and a little bit of that just so it all sits nice and flush and I'll uh, see you in a second okay so once you've bought your diversity antenna kit on eBay or Amazon or Banggood or whatever what you want to do I've plugged that in it's all connected down here I've dropped in a bit of hot glue and I'm going to set the gap so what you want to do is just hold it in Screw your antenna on first, all the way down, so it's all nice and tight. Now, with the Up Air 1, lucky enough to actually have a little cutaway here that this sits in. And it's about 2 to 3 mil clearance here from the outer casing to the bottom of the um, antenna. And that's the same with both, both antennas. I've checked these and they're all around the same so you've got one or two mil clearance so you make sure you have your little gap keep your antenna on I've laid it back into the hot glue now what I like to do is to get some liquid metal two-part epoxy roll it together fill up this little cavity here and let it set and so when the top case goes back on it's snug as a bug it's never going to come undone this actual nut here is permanently locked in there and then if you want to change back to your originals you just pop it out Bob's your uncle slap your original ones back in and off you go too easy okay stage three mix up your epoxy putty just like this stuff keep mine in the fridge I've mixed it up and you just need a tiny little blob there and there covering the nuts it's already seeded into the hot glue. I just melted a bit of this, seeded it in, got it all set. Um, I've got about a minute or two to do this and I press the case back down, do all the screws up, glue down or sticky tape down all of your cabling. Um, leave, don't do this one here because you actually want to remove your lid. And um, see how we go. Okay, so with the antennas now removed, I have place the two new antennas on now what I have to do is give it a flight test now with the standard antennas 
the FPV was clapping out at about 250 meters. Um, that's with a clover leaf on the quad, and these here were just clapping out. 250 meters, I'd start to get a lot of static. Um, up to three to 400 meters, still with this crystal clear. So that's the receiver and I've just got a little 7 inch monitor with a battery and this here brilliant really good receiver so that works pretty well off eBay it was about 20 odd bucks so now I'll give you another video after this I'll go for a fly and I'll see how far I can get away before the FPV picture starts to drop out um, yeah keep you posted